Best Picture winner was La La Land. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. It was Moonlight. <laughs> also nominated was Arrival, Fences, Hacksaw Ridge, Hell or High Water, Hidden Figures, La La Land, Lion, and Manchester by the Sea. No, look, I I've said it on the shows yesterday. I will say it again. Out of this batch, uh, I thought Hacksaw Ridge was the best film of the year out of this batch. But I also think Moonlight was a better film than La La Land. In our pre-show, I predicted Moonlight would win. Uh, not that I'm very good at predicting, because my card on last night would have looked pretty miserable. Uh oh, don't uh, worry, mine was worse. <laughs> but I did, I did predict Moonlight, so at least I got that one right. Um, it, look, and we might as well blend this all into one discussion. It was an ominous mistake. <clears throat> the, uh, the accounting firm, uh, Clearance Price House, Price Waterhouse Water Coopers, Pimple Ass, whatever it is, they had they put out an explanation <laughs> explaining what happened. There were two sets of cards on either side of the stage, and a mix-up occurred in the crossover. It was an innocent mistake. I felt worse. The guy I felt worse for wasn't even the La La Land producers. It was poor Warren Beatty. Because yeah, yeah. for about 30 <laughs> seconds, everybody in America thought he was the, the biggest old man idiot in the yeah. world, that he messed this up. And as it turns out, it wasn't his fault. It wasn't... No, he didn't want to say it. He's like, uh, this He's like, isn't something, right. yeah, he knew something was wrong. Yeah. And then poor Faye Dunaway, because then he just shows her the card to show us something's <laughs> wrong, and she thinks, oh, I'm going to play along. And she looks at the card, and she sees the words La La Land, she says La La Land, and mayhem per ensues. But anyway, as far as the winner goes, I'm glad Moonlight won. I'm happy for it. There are a lot of great films on this list. I think the, the right one uh, won it other than Hacksaw Ridge. But I want to ask Michael, you're sitting at home. You're watching the Oscars unfold. You see this thing start to happen, or you hear about this thing happening afterwards. What were your thoughts on it? No, nah, I was watching it. I, I, I mean, it was like my thoughts were like everybody else's. Um... I didn't immediately blame Warren, except for as far as a joke. I could tell, you know, once he explained that something was weird, but then like Emma Stone was like, I had the card. And it was, it was sort of like you wait the whole night. And, and it's that <laughs> night, it's three and a half hours, man. And I usually never watch the whole thing. I usually re like watch a little bit, record, and then catch up. You wait three and a half hours, and I was ready to shut it down. And then you're like, let me just finish it out because I've waited three and a half hours and watched so many different categories that I don't think, not to be disrespectful, I don't think need to be jammed into this three and a half hour show. It's like a, a, a marathon. Yeah. How long does it take to run a marathon? Like, well, what are the top 20 people they run a marathon? They run it about a little over two hours. A little bit over two hours. So this is yeah. this is longer than an actual marathon. This is almost <laughs> yes, two marathons. it is literally so, longer than right. a marathon. So if you're like one of those crazy like 50-mile marathon people, it would take three and a half hours. So <laughs> I was tripping out like everybody else. And, and, you know, and I think it's the disservice is that Moonlight didn't get their shine, even though they won. Yeah, the yeah. whole thing, everything we're talking about the Oscars is about this controversy. They didn't get their moment to have, like, you know, their breath and their excitement. And then the La La people are walking, the La La Land people are, are walking away going, you know, what the hell? And it must have been a fun after party. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drunk after party. Yeah, I'm really glad you brought that up, dude, because I, I it was a thing that hit me today. After everything subsides, you have a night to kind of marinate on it, and it really does hit you that everyone from Moonlight, the entire win is going to be overshadowed by this. Con it's going to be like, ooh, and the, the moment. screw up. Right. The, you the, know, the everybody moment. gets to like, like a, thank you yeah. the Academy right. or thanks my mom. No, they didn't, didn't get, get that. that. They're, They're like, like oh, is this I, even I guess, happening? Right. Is this a bit? Absolutely. And and then you look at the, the side of the La La Land people, like you you go into movies, you dream about winning an Oscar, and then you do, and your speech isn't even, it's null and void. It's like, well, I kind of gave a speech to my mom for like half a second, and then it just, you know, it's no, it's not actually my win. I, I don't get that, you know? A homeboy so, from La La Land handled it as right. good as anybody else. He's He's like, his transition, right he over, should right. be in La La Land, because his transition <laughs> right. from producer to actor, like he was like, he didn't skip a beat. Right. Well, that's why Absolutely. I thought all this stuff I saw on Twitter about like, oh, the Oscars planned this. That would be the stupidest thing in the world for them to do because of the fact of everything, the way that they handled this entire uh, the entire production from start to finish yeah. to embarrass themselves at the end there. Nah. And like you said, with with uh, Moonlight, the way that they, they didn't get that moment, that's not the way you want to do that. Now, as far as what producers should be fired, now, Warren Beatty, people blaming Warren Beatty and all that stuff. And Faye Dun Dunaway just got the hell out of there and was chewing cashews in the back. She wanted <laughs> nothing to do with any of it. You'd see. But the two, you can't blame... 80 year old men, you blame the producers, what happened? It wasn't Emma 80 Stone, year old no. men, it could have happened, it could have happened, happened to Leonardo anybody. DiCaprio, it could have right. happened to but, Brad you know, Pitt, anybody who was reading it who had that card, it was going to happen. Yes, and the one yeah. thing that you brought up though is that Emma Stone thing, I love Emma Stone, but she, and I know that we, we're a little different on this, she, uh, she annoyed
annoyed me at the end there. She's like, I've got the card. You don't think there are two cards? I print eight eight copies of the Schmodown questions. I'm sure that there's two. That I'm there's surprised two that there were two cards. I'm shocked they that there's like two cards. I, I might be one of those people that you're going to think is an idiot because I totally think this was staged. I do no, think. He thought fine. you were an idiot before no, the Oscars. So, Vin, I mean, he thought, really thought I'm an idiot for eight years. But <laughs> Vince McMahon did a great job producing the Oscars for the very Why first time. Why would they do that? Because nah. they want ratings. They want people talking and, about and it. And they wanted to celebrate two movies instead of one. No, it's too late no. doing ratings. So. It was think too about late. this. Just they think about this. They embarrassed the La La Land people. What if it was? What if it was a uh, a mix up the other way? What if La La Land had actually won, but they announced Moonlight, and everybody up there for Moonlight gets up to then like, that oh no, La La Land actually won. The world would explode. Twitter think, would have broke. Yeah, I, I I I do think that somebody had a hand in doing nah. this. I think there's some nefarious plots afoot. They wouldn't Human be able to error. hold that together because if that ever comes out that somebody did that, you think the guy? It, 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 it You're we're all talking about it. If it was the Golden Globes, I'd give you some merit there. But the Oscars doing this, it nah, just, they it discredits them. And it's not like their ratings were so bad. The ratings last were good, year. and it was a good show. Yeah. It just was a score. The and thing that was surprising to me is that when when somebody, I guess there's a person checking because when they announced La La Land, how did someone else know? That Moonlight was in an envelope. Who's that person? The, account, the, the two accounting guys were the Those ones. Those are the ones who, who came yeah, out? They, yeah, apparently yes. they notified somebody. I am somebody shocked that Michael Rappaport, a New York Knicks fan, does not buy into a frozen envelope theory. That's how you got Ewing, <laughs> and that's how Moonlight ended up beating La La Land.